Code editors have gone crazy in terms of quality. One of the examples is the Visual Studio Code, powerful editor with a huge community of users. Now I will be doing some adjustments inside Nectos code editor with the purpose of you guys to be as efficient as possible. First of them would be changing Necto theme. I actually use this idea a lot, so naturally I want this environment to be more pleasant to work in. Changing a theme might be a trivial task, but benefits potentially huge. If you found the default Nectar theme not so nice, go to File, then Nectar Preferences, then Color Themes, and choose a theme more enjoyable for your liking. Okay, we optimized environment a little bit. We changed a theme. How about optimizing our coding time? So adjustment number two, code completion. Let's enable it. We are going to go to Nectar Preferences, we are going to select Miscellaneous Settings, and finally we are going to check Use Tab 9 Code Completion. This is all nice and shine, but does it actually work? Let's imagine you've got a remote control car. You need firmware for it to make it run, right? So I would like Code Completion feature inside Nectar to complete some code for me while developing a firmware for this RC car. Let's test this theory. Okay, so we need to initialize this RC car. Then naturally, we want to move it. And finally, we want to retrieve updated coordinates of it. As you can observe, I'm already getting some completions. In this case, comment completions. Which is nice, but I'm not impressed yet. Now that we have a plan, let's jump into coding it out. So we are going to create some kind of structure which is going to describe car properties. Next, I would like this RC car to have some base coordinates. See, I'm already getting some code hints, which is kind of neat. Then I would like to move this car. One of the parameters could be RC car instance itself, because I would like to increment X and Y coordinates by themselves. And the last functionality I need could be to get new coordinates of an RC car. Now that I have my plan sorted out, let's implement this logic. I'm definitely going to need this structure. I'm going to need X and Y coordinates. Next up would be those two methods, move and display coordinates. They're going to be function pointers. Let's write them down. And now we need to define them. Move method is going to constantly increment X and Y coordinates by themselves. Display coordinates method is logically going to display updated coordinates. Now we are going to see code completion helping me with the printf function. Last thing to be done. I need to map those methods to function pointers. Let's run the code just to make sure everything is working. Code completion for C, it actually works. But is it going to work with C++? Let's hack Nectar a little bit, shall we? We're going to go into CMake file and swap C with CXX. And we're going to change extension of this C file from C into CPP. Let's challenge code completion again. Once again, we are going to go and instantiate a remote control car. If I press control space, it's already giving me some suggestions. It's nice. Then I would like it to move according to some steps. And at the end, I would like to get updated coordinates. Because this is C++ object oriented way of programming stuff, we are going to create a class for RC car. Then we are going to create some X and Y coordinates of a car. Totally natural for us to create a constructor, which is going to set some default coordinates of our car. And we could retrieve a message. Of course, we could do the destructor thing as well. At the end, we could write down some methods. I would like to print out coordinates, and I would like this method not to be able to change our class member variables. Let's see. Yep. It actually works. And I would like to move this RC car around. Now we are going to define those methods. We are going to increment X coordinate by X steps and Epsilon coordinate by Epsilon steps. Last thing, define the method for printing our coordinates. Let's test it. Nice. Code completion for C++, it seems to work as well. Okay, we optimized coding environment, we optimized our coding time. Let's optimize our code formatting. Just try to memorize one thing. 
the actual position of the reference keyboard which is basically next to the int integer type now let's enable code formatting we're going to go to file then next to preferences then formatting and we're going to enable auto file format on control s focus on the pointer in our case reference alignment value now that we have enabled code formatting those references have moved to right right okay guys we've done some things which could positively backfire our development we've done three optimizations next of theme thing code completion and code formatting for c and c plus thanks for watching catch you with the next one